So I'm, I'm Brent Davis. I'm a Workland Research Professor at the University of Calgary. Uh, my uh, field is mathematics education. Well, I was invited to speak about a research project that we have going. Uh, we're in year four of a seven-year project working with uh, a whole staff of school uh, of teachers in trying to reform their practice in manners that are more consistent with what we know about teachers' disciplinary knowledge of mathematics, how children learn. I would identify two major challenges right now. Uh, the first is teachers' disciplinary knowledge of no mathematics. What mathematics do you need to know in order to teach it really well? Uh, there are lots of uh, attempts at answers to this question uh, and a lot of varying approaches to researching it. Uh, for my take on it, the most important element is not what you need to learn to teach mathematics, but what you already know that might be enabling or disabling your teaching of mathematics. And in particular, what um, implicit understandings, what, what is web of associations that you have mastered that is sunk below the surface of your conscious awareness uh, might draw a relationship between uh, expert and novice studies, where experts are fluid and immediate and automatic and sophisticated but they don't necessarily know what they're drawing on to make their judgments. My suspicion is, and I've been re researching this for about a decade, is that much of what teachers know, particularly at the, in the early years, operates on that level. They are experts in uh, associations, and they don't know that they are. And to teach mathematics well, you need to be an expert who is able to recover what it's like to think like a novice. So uh, as I think about what's happening uh, across ca Canada and more broadly um, in North America, I can think of lots of really wonderful initiatives in the development of resources, some really exciting works into the neuroscience of mathematics uh, learning, some really provocative research into teacher development, teacher education emphases. What's lacking for me is uh, coherence across them. How do we bring the neuroscience into the resource development? How do we uh, collectively understand how those resources might be um, introduced, mastered uh, with, within classrooms? How do we take emergent teacher knowledge back into the research frame to inform uh, teacher education? Um, what I see going on right now is exciting but fragmented. And uh, I could point to just about any researcher in mathematics education researcher in Canada and say that person is doing really good work. We need to pay attention to that person. At the same time as I would say paying too much attention to that person might not be a good idea because we need to bring that into conversation with what everybody else is doing. Uh, so I, I think this is an important uh, developmental stage in any domain. Uh, what we're moving toward, I think, is something very, very powerful. We're not there yet. You know, if, if I would want one, one thing to be carried away, it would be uh, a self-questioning uh, kind of moment. It would be, if you think the math wars are a real thing, are something that we should be worried about, something that we need to solve, why do you think that? What is it about your beliefs about how people learn, what they're learning, how we should teach, that makes the math wars a real thing? What holds that construct up for you? Because it really does dissolve.